from Ellen Road, Leeds, comes Leeds United versus Manchester United. We've crossed the Pennines today to see in action the side who not only lead the first division, but have captured all the headlines and much of the talk in football at the beginning of this season. Seven league games played, seven victories, 19 goals for and four against. Their side today, not entirely at full strength, although it's difficult to say what is full strength in this side, but certainly they're without Paul Reaney, who failed a fitness test, and Peter Lorimer, also injured, a score of six goals in five games this season. But here's a young man who's grown up in the side this season, young Gordon McQueen, signed from St Mirren for £30,000 a year ago, and really maturing into a worthy successor to Jack Charlton. Today is only his 14th First Division game. Made his debut five months after he arrived here in a number 11 shirt, but always intended to be a centre-half in the Leeds setup. And Manchester United make two changes today. Ian Moore, still finding his way back to full fitness and form, together with Mick Martin, having a run in the reserves this afternoon. So that lets in Brian Greenoff, brother of Stokes' Jimmy Greenoff, at number four for his second game of league football. And Lou Macari, recovered from a hip injury, wears the number nine shirt. George Buchan, who made a good impression on his debut last week, is again the substitute, younger brother of Martin Buchan. And that's Trevor Anderson, the young man who scored the goal here when Manchester United came here at the back end of last season and won by a goal to nil. In conditions very similar to those we have today, that's to say drizzling rain and a slippy, tricky top surface. So Mr Smith from Gloucestershire waits to set the game rolling. We've got gates closed and something like a full house here at Ellen Road, which could be up to 48,000. Last season, just over 45,000 saw Manchester United play here. There were only two better gates than that for Liverpool and for Newcastle on Boxing Day. And now it's Manchester United kicking off in the dark tops there, red shirts. Number 11 is Graham. The car is flick on and the Queen there before Anderson. Jones to clock. Really can't be allowed to go on. There were three men queuing up there. One really could have gone for the tackle. Gray. Ball back for Maidley. Paul Maidley already with 12 England caps. Now established as a valuable member of Sir Alf Ramsey's side. An important game coming up against Austria on Wednesday. Stepney, scorer of one of Manchester United's goals this season with the goal kick. Led on by Greenoff, Bremner to McQueen. Over James's head. Young glad enough to see the ball away and not too worried that it went into touch. Bremner is number four to Jones. Holton with him. Referee right on top of that incident and giving the free kick two leads. But the significant thing there is how much that pitch has kicked up. Very slippery. Header away by Graham. Anderson. Jones touching it back for Gray. Jordan going up with James. Kidd to Morgan nice ball back again for Brian Kidd Hunter's tackle penalised the crowd looking at the way Kidd checked to go into that tackle thinking that the award might have gone the other way Anderson and Macari, the two men forward for Manchester United. Graham going to join them. Martin Buchan to take the kick. 
Morgan making a fourth man in the area but it's aimed for Graham's head and McQueen is there first well, I must say I would have thought that went off McQueen and from the buzz around the ground a lot of people also thought so Holton's header, Jones taking the ball away from him and Holton late, catching Jones just above the ankle. Alan Clark calling on Les Cocker. And what is the signal from the referee now? He's certainly wanting to talk to Holton, he's called on Les Cocker and he's going to book Holton. I'm not entirely sure that he... I think he's maybe warning him that he'll send him off if it happens again. Certainly one or two fairly positive gestures in the general direction of the dressing room. Next time was the warning. start with a free kick by McQueen Jones back in position in the Manchester United area James positioning himself for the header but he didn't make it Bremner couldn't pull it back so it's a goal kick Bremner who's playing well forward for Leeds this season McQueen with his goalkeeper available Pushed that rather a long way and ran himself into trouble. Giles helps him out. Gray. Bremner is already up with the forward. So too is Maidley. This is Jones. Checked and turned and he still has possession. Buchan has got it now. Leeds in this opening 13-14 minutes supplying pressure so that whenever Manchester United win the ball they've very little option about what to do with it Jones Buchan putting it out and not getting the throw in that he asked for Hunter to Gray put off for a corner this time by Gray This time Johnny Giles trotting out to take it. Just over ten years since Giles left Old Trafford to come to Elland Road. Transfer that Leeds have never regretted. Stepney hasn't got it and he was obstructed then by McQueen, but the ball's cleared. Anderson. Morgan. Anderson inside him again. Makari through the middle on his own. Tackle was by Hunter. Clark to Hunter. Gray. Jerry had to go back for it. try, Maidley was coming in on a run down the left which I think may have distracted one or two United defenders but the shot wasn't accurate enough to be worth the effort on 
Hunter. Time and again, Leeds are winning these clearances from Stepney in the air. Clark to Jordan. Taken up a good position then, but James had gone back well. Maidley. Up the line to Gray, and he was unlucky that he couldn't keep that one in. Gray with a lot of space ahead of him. Morgan's throw in to Kit. Graham, Kari's flick, Morgan on to Anderson, turned well, and now Hunter using a bit of weight, getting round between Anderson and the goal, and the chance has disappeared, Remnick to Giles, Leeds looking for a quick break at the other end. Beautiful ball from Giles to Gray. Aidley puts it out for a Manchester United throw. off Martin Buckham Stepney coming to meet him but Stepney holding up his hand because Jones had seen that possibility Brian Kidd Morgan on his right Macari and Anderson on his left and Young going to join them Young trying to lay it off for Anderson and there's a free kick to Leeds. just ahead of him, Clark there too this is Clark coming back into the space that Jordan's run made Cherry shot kicked away by Graham Anderson pursued by Clark Anderson wins Cherry just behind him and that's a free kick Tackle from behind by Cherry. Free kick taken before the Manchester United trainer was off the field, so it has to be taken again. And Tony Young will do the honours. Kari coming to meet it. Crafty back header. The Queen slices his clearance. Gray has it. Pressured by Graham. Helped by Hunter. Buckham, Morgan gives it back. James. Hunter finding Cherry. Clark. calling for it but it wasn't a good pass from Clark Kid touching it on for Graham and getting it back Morgan acceleration takes him away from Clark on for Makari Hunter going to cover 
just Anderson in the penalty area Manchester United reluctant to throw men forward in any numbers free kick has been given for obstruction by Hunter and now Holton is going up to lend some height in the penalty area Carry on the small side Anderson quite slight Manchester United don't carry a lot of weight up front Graham there now a good header of the ball Holton a formidable figure in the air Kid takes it Holton going for it and he won it and it was a good glancing header too Jim Holton in line for his fifth full cap for Scotland on Wednesday when they play Czechoslovakia. in Norway on Wednesday but so far the Leeds good behaviour campaign has held out for seven league games but a very strict Mr Smith takes Jordan's name now for clipping kids ankles as he went for the tackle on a dry day the tackle might have been better timed the same time we have to recall that Holton paid the penalty and was cautioned earlier in the game Kid to Graham Kid again Giles Bremner made Gray. Madeley going on the overlap and that made room for Gray to come inside. Holton's clearance, only as far as Cherry. Stepney with half an eye on Jordan, did well to backpedal the pace or two that it needed to get that one from Cherry. called for that and gets it Gray Madeley gone ahead of him that's the pass for him and on nicely for Clark on the touchline tackled by Greenoff on Bremner It's a free kick, two leads. Mr. Smith insisting that the wall goes back the full ten yards. Giants turning it for Hunter. The crowd were entitled to ooh, and Hunter to throw his hands in the air. He struck that very true, kept it low, but it was a foot or two outside the upright. Step the heaved aside. coming to join him. Gray, Hunter. Ten players in the Manchester United half as Leeds come forward. Cherry. Trying to tempt Holton. And Holton took a wild swing at that, but Mr Smith sees nothing wrong with it. And it's a throw to Leeds. Holton grins. Remner. 
Ja. Bremner's ability to bite his tongue being severely tested this afternoon. going ahead of him. Akari saw the possibility. Graham, Morgan ahead of him. Makari will have to scurry. Kept it in, but to no avail. Gray. Beautifully balanced. No telling which way he was going then. Corner. Five seconds plus injury time to go to half time. McQueen going up into that penalty area. Hunter. Hunter again, but he didn't reach it. Buchan had cleared. Offside that time, and it was Hunter who was the man. So we're now in injury time in this first half. A Queen's header. James to Greenoff. Turned well away from Bremner. Anderson. Morgan going out to the right. The back heel to Greenoff. Kicked away by Cherry for a Manchester United throw in. Greenoff has gone down. Tommy Kavanagh wants to come on. And the referee calls it. is all right George Graham has replaced the divot Brian Kidd will take the throw in that will restart the game Anderson handball given against him and in fact it's half time that's been blown and so the players go in with the score sheet blank and it must be said that while Leeds United have played some glorious football across two-thirds of the pitch when they've got somewhere around the edge of the Manchester United penalty area, the Manchester back four has really closed the curtain and Leeds have had very few direct shots at Stepney. So, credit to Manchester United for a half-time score of nil-nil. So Leeds kick off in the second half, no goals, Leeds have had the bulk of the possession and pressure but they haven't really shown penetration when they've come up against this Manchester United back four. Stepney now to clear for Manchester United. McQueen again a good header, foul given against Clark whose arm came out there stiff.
quarter of an hour of the second half gone and Manchester United make a substitution pulling off Lou Macari who came back into the side after having a hip injury who's just been on the touchline having treatment and now leaving the field to allow George Buchan the younger brother of Martin Buchan to come on as substitute came on last week for Jim Holton and made a good impression and so it's Martin Buchan to take the free kick looking for his brother's head right from the start Kid miss hits his shot Gray for Leeds Holton's header for a throw Greenoff and Bremner in together decision I think it was handball certainly it's gone in Leeds favour Ray's throw into Clark back again to Clark Bremner it's a, it's a surprise to see Greenoff get up so quickly Greenoff put his head down as Bremner put his foot up the referee now having words with Stepney Mr Smith has sorted it all out of the boot there by Steve James Norman Hunter Jordan's header Jones going out Stepney there first Young to Graham on for Anderson made the taking it away from danger Giles Jones through the middle as Jordan goes down the right throw to Manchester United Young succeeded in playing that ball back onto Jordan Hunter through to Bremner Greenoff although on the ground managed to keep the ball away from Bremner and Greenoff has done a good job in that department all afternoon Clark now Bremner and again Greenoff on his heels Jones Holton's tackle produces a flag from the linesman and a free kick whistle from Mr Smith Giles header back by Jordan and across 
touched the face of the goal again. Jordan's shot was blocked and the ball came back to him and flew again just outside the far post. Yes, that was close. Kid, Graham. Queen and Anderson. Foul are given against Anderson. Eddie Gray, number 11. Hunter square of him, but Gray going his own way. Now for Hunter. Cherry. Looked as though he pushed it too far, but he's recovered. And now for Clark. And Stephanie smothers it. Morgan pushed off the ball. Giles penalised. And a free kick to Manchester United. Queen, harassed into giving away a corner, the attentions of Anderson doing the trick. Morgan to take it, four men in the penalty area and three just outside for Manchester United. It's evaded them all, whistle for some pushing by Holton. Hunter Jordan really shouldn't have been allowed to get that one Gray Clark took that well on his chest and Bremner saw the possibility Gray Cherry over at the back of the penalty area now Clark well blocked Steve James it was who got in the way Offside against Anderson. It's been a hairline decision. Trevor Anderson, referee pointedly looking at his watch, suggesting that maybe Anderson had heard the whistle, but clearly Harvey hadn't. Yes, good cross which Stephanie caught well. about Leeds now. Maidley. Gray. 
Giles, turn on nicely for Cherry. Turned over well by Stepney. Leeds now unable to stroll around and play the game at their own pace. Manchester United have broken up the rhythm. They'll still have to withstand a lot of pressure, I guess, in the last six or seven minutes. Giles with the corner. His kid's boot. Fox got it back again to Giles. Jones touching it off. Nobody there to take advantage. Graham couldn't play it back to Stepney. But Buchan has completed the clearance. Bremner. Gray calling Giles in. Bremner. Turned and chipped, but Jones slipped. Holton. Miscued, but it'll do. Hunter couldn't get round Morgan. Clark. Giles. Five minutes left as Hunter tries to find a way through. It's George Buchan back with him. He rides that tackle and finds Martin Buchan waiting to have a go. Brothers in arms there, two and twelve. Martin and George Buchan, and their persistent attention forces Hunter in the end to give away the goal kick. skipper today McQueen Jordan's back heel for Gray Clark on for Brenda and Jones well played Stepney that's the first time that Leeds have really opened up that Manchester United penalty area and Stepney was equal to it. Bremner managed to tuck the telling through ball into the path of Jones and out came Stepney and did his stuff. Stepney again, still not clear. Now it is, Martin Buchan. Okay. 
James, Bachan, and into the safety of touch again as far as Manchester United are concerned. Less than two minutes now, plus what the referee adds on for injuries. Clark with Bakken at his side to give away another throw-in. Bremner, Green off behind him. What a good job that youngster has done in his second league game. Gray shot off for a corner. Queen has come into the penalty area again as Giles takes the corner. Beaten down by Stepney and he's got it again. Morgan. Now Kidd. George Buckham on the left. Couldn't get past Hunter. Madeley for Leeds. Gray. Jordan cut out by James. Martin Buckham. Kidd. Queen. Nick Jones. Taking on Holton for speed and rounding him. And over. Again, Clark was free at the back of the penalty area, but Jones by then was in full flight. And I don't think he could have steadied himself to play the chip back. Smith trying to hurry up Stepney. So we're now in injury time. Still no goals. Kid. Morgan on for Anderson. and headed out Harvey was coming across for Perry but Cherry didn't take any chances and nodded it out for a Manchester United corner Kidd back to Morgan Giles Clark Clark along the line to Jordan A minute of injury time gone Hunter Clark Eddie Gray Now can he play across There are plenty of men waiting Hoping he can Clark. Shot wasn't very hard and scooped away by Holton. Morgan to George Bucker. Forward for Anderson. Taking on Cherry. Cherry concedes another corner. And the last exchange is going Manchester United's way. nine seasons since Leeds were promoted the 18 games between these clubs have produced eight draws and it looks odds on this is going to be on it his pass was much too direct for Morgan but it's got the ball up the end where Manchester United want to see it Clark to Jones Two and a half minutes of injury time we played. Gray. Still Gray. Deep for Maidley. Nod back for Jordan, but it didn't reach him. Bucken intercepted. And the whistle is gone. Leeds have lost their 100% record. 
They've also had their first league booking and Manchester United, with Alex Stepney performing heroically behind a fine back four, have got their first away point of the season. Not the most spectacular of games, but a very good performance by Manchester United. Leeds nil, Manchester United nil.